and we go away to the last of our Division 1 finals. This is the A final for Division 1 after the Devon Over to you. Yes, this is the Division 1 A final. Normally in an A final you would expect to see the top contenders, but in this race you do see one of the top contenders needs to say Bjorn Skogstad. But as we said before, as Jacques Francens exits stage left into the tyre wall for the Belgian team, the uh, drivers are put into the finals by the team manager's discretion, so Jacques Francens obviously put into this race by Andy Lesueur, the Belgian team manager, but uh, up front it is uh, Skogstad in the lead, but a good drive once again from Paul Bullivant. Paul Bullivant into third place and hounding Mats Johansson for Sweden. So Paul Bullivant is coming away. Paul Bullivant there chasing Mats Johansson, but Skogstad away in the lead, and this, I would think, has got to be a nine-pointer here for the... Uh, Swedish team or a for the Norwegian team, a 25 point, I beg your pardon, for Norway. <laughs> yes, 20 for Sweden and uh, 15 for Britain. That would give uh, Sweden a uh, two power advantage here, I think. You, you're right when you last year. In fact, that, but if the positions are maintained like this now at the end of the race, it would put Sweden up into second place. Yeah, that's what I thought, Adam. Yeah. Have we got Division 2 to come yet? Oh, yes, and that's where I said we are stronger. So uh, I think if Sweden gets into second spot, it's going to be fairly short lived. But uh, they're in second spot in this race. Here's their man, Mats Johansson. Mats, first time on British soil with the car that he's built himself over the years. Been picking up some pretty good results in Europe this year through the uh, European season. And uh, for the many of these drivers, probably the last race of the year, although I'm certain sure we should be seeing quite a few of them later on. I don't have Brands Hatch for the Motocrip British Rally Cross Grand Prix. But meantime, Paul Bullivant doing a great thing here for Britain. Paul hanging on in there on Matt Johansson. Skogstad has gone into the distance. The battle is for second place. And I'm pleased to see that uh, our camera crews are concentrating on this battle for second place because it's not just a good race. It's the race that uh, is going to decide who is going to be second in the point standing at the end of this one. Skogstad's no doubt is going to increase the advantage for the Norwegians as he takes the Camel Sierra RS500 through the Mad Attacom. Complex. Scoggy goes away, driving well within himself. No one to really challenge. There is this great scrap going on, and Paul Bullivant just trying to find a way through. Can't do so at the moment. Paul, very much, I'm sure, a man encouraged by the results that he's achieved here this weekend. The last two visits here to the Croft Circuit for Paul Bullivant have both ended in retirement during practice. Uh, but uh, this weekend, along with the rest of the British team, it's been a 100% team effort. The British team have shown total reliability from their cars. And uh, Paul hanging on well, going away. And uh, as he gets a locking brake there on the front of Sierra, it looked as though Paul Bullivant might be able to do something. But no, the power of the Sierra tolls as they go on the Samson curve. And the leader comes out of it into the Manhattan complex. And it's going to be Bjorn Skogstad coming away here, which is going to consolidate the Norwegians' stranglehold on this event. And Norway coming through to take nine points in as uh, Skoggy takes the checkered flag. And I think in second place will be Mats Johansson for Sweden. There we see the battle. Still Johansson, but Paul Bullen having a do or die fling at the flag. He can't do it once again. Hasn't quite got the grunt down the straight, and Sweden takes second place. Well, that's a good drive there from uh, from Paul Budderant. And Bjorn Skogstad knows he's done well for his team. That's what they call the donut sort of wheelie. He's got a tyre smoking going on there for him. Um, quick look at the scores for you. I think.